All right, everyone, welcome to a brand new walkthrough. We are at Beach Bend in uh, kind of the middle of nowhere. This is in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And uh, they're well known for go-karts and uh, for the coaster enthusiasts. Everyone comes here for a wooden roller coaster called, there, it is. that's a tree. There it is, Kentucky Rumbler. It is a GCI wooden roller coaster. Uh, so we're gonna go all the way around the park. We're currently outside the front entrance. This is where you're gonna be able to get your tickets and season passes. They have this uh, nice lunch room plaza. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that the drive to the park, you are kind of going around like through almost a neighborhood, which is kind of interesting. But it is free parking, so that's nice. Um, so this is the front entrance. We're gonna go on inside and take a look around. All right, so we are now inside the front gate. The first thing you notice is to the right, we have our water park. And when you're wanting to go into there, it's called Splash Lagoon. You're just gonna go right through here. You got some bathrooms to the left. So that is gonna be your entrance pathway. Uh, you do have a conveniently placed park map right here. So if you ever need help finding your way around, uh, that is gonna be there. But we're gonna hang a left. So walking down this pathway, we have some of our first flat rides. Beach Bend does have lots of them. Some of them are pretty cool, actually. Um, I'd recommend definitely doing some flats while you're here. This is probably one of the most iconic parts of the park. This is Sea Dragon. This is your classic Viking ship attraction. Um, looks very scenic with the lake right behind it. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Uh, we do have a theater over here to our left that will periodically show some shows. Uh, I saw one showing uh, earlier when I was visiting the park. So moving down this pathway, we're gonna be able to see Kentucky Rumbler over here to the left. This is pretty much the main attraction of Beach Bend. Probably the main reason why a lot of you are gonna come out to Beach Bend. It's a GCI wooden roller coaster. And like a lot of the other GCIs, it is a good ride. But actually right in front of it is Whitewater Express, the log flume, which is currently closed. You can see the loom, one of the uh, logs is stuck on the lift. It's a very tightly compact log flume, but we were unable to ride it because it was closed. This here is probably the center of the park. It is this lake, and it really makes everything picturesque, especially the rides that are positioned like right next to it. it really looks nice. So over here to the left, this is our entrance to Kentucky Rumbler. You can see the back half of the track over there, followed by the front half. This is the gift shop and restaurant. It is called Rumbler Cafe. This is where you're going to exit when you get off the ride. They have some food that you can get there. It's your classic theme park food, but it's actually not that expensive compared to a lot of other parks. Up ahead, you'll see some kiddie rides. There's one theme to bumblebees or little cars or like a school bus and uh, right up ahead is some teacups. So we're just hanging around. This is pretty much the farthest left on this side of the park that you can go. So we're going to start looping around again, just making our way all the way around this lake. So to the left is Air Race. It says the Imperial Air Race. Uh, not a full scale model like some of the others. They only have two for each uh, spinning pendulum on its axle. Normally uh, with some Air Races, they have four to like a vehicle. This one's only two. So over here is bumper cars. You have kitty bumper cars on the left and then regular bumper cars on the right. So what you're seeing right now are some of the Big boy rides, I guess you could say. This is the drop tower. It is a Larson drop tower. These things are cool because it doesn't hold you at the top, so you don't know when you're gonna drop. We'll watch this fall. This is pretty cool. It feels a lot higher up than it looks, especially when you're riding. This here is one of the three roller coasters in the park. So you have Kentucky Rumbler. This is a spinning kitty coaster. And then right here is Starship. This is kind of a typical classic carnival ride. You lean up against the back and then as it spins, the 
the centrifugal force or whatever it's called uh, makes it so that you float up to the top. It's pretty unique. So you can go down to the right and that would be your way to get onto the other side of the lake. We're actually going to go down here so you can see some of the rides down here. But there are uh, two different pathways that you could take. What you are seeing up here on the right are some of the water slides and they actually have some really cool slides here. This is one of the complexes. These are all tube slides and there are four different ones I believe. And I mean as you can see they actually look like pretty decent. Um, I did not bring a swimsuit today so I did not ride them but they look like a lot of fun. Coming up on the left, this is a cool attraction. This is a haunted house. It is called Haunted House, a yeah. uh, very original name. It is a uh, very wacky, you get in this vehicle and then there's like a bunch of like quote unquote jump scares. Um, very interesting attraction, I'd recommend doing it. I won't spoil it though. <laughs> so again, look at all those slides right there. So up here we have two rides, this is Tilt-A-Whirl, and then this one is kind of cool. I've never seen anything like this. This is Scat 2. It's basically, to put it uh, simply, it's Starship, except you're like outside and there's like another, uh, you're not, you're spinning on like another rotation on your axis. It's, uh, Pretty cool, actually. So, continuing on, you have some more Katie style attractions up there. You have some uh, dragons that you can get in. There, you can get like some lemonade and then some uh, seating areas. This is there a uh, Dumbo ride, I guess? Again, walking around Scat 2. Uh, pretty interesting attraction. So directly ahead, this is Moby Dick. You can see these on lots of uh, boardwalk parks. Um, basically just kind of moves you back and forth all around. And this is our third and final roller coaster, Wild Mouse. It is a, uh, you guessed it, Wild Mouse coaster. And it spins about halfway through the ride. So if you've noticed a trend, a lot of the rides here at Beach Bend are spinning based. Pretty much the main ones I can think of that don't spin you are going to be Kentucky Rumbler and then the Drop Tower. So if you aren't into spinny rides, there probably won't be too much here for you. But if you like kind of cool flats, yeah, yeah, you'll find some stuff. But again, Kentucky Rumbler is going to be the star of the show here. So as you can see, we just went all the way around. There are those kids' rides again. And this is kind of entering Splash Lagoon. Uh, I'll take you up here. I'm not going to go really in just for, uh, I don't want to like surprise any people who like weren't expecting to be on camera, you know, with maybe their shirts off or uh, things like that. But this, this is filmed towards the end of the day at closing, so we, there probably aren't too many people in there anyways. Actually, Splash Lagoon might be closed right now. But you can see uh, lots of tubes. They have a water play structure over there. So, we'll turn around and head back up to the front. If you've noticed, Beach Bend itself is a pretty small park. You shouldn't have any troubles finding your way around. I think if you're in the area, it's definitely worth a stop, or if you're a coaster enthusiast trying to get a lot of the major credits, then it is worth a few hours of your day. Again, you're not going to be spending a whole lot of time here. There's a dizzy dragon right here that we passed earlier. Again, we're just heading back, so now we're just on the other side of the tilt -a whirl
in up close to those tube slides right here. And uh, you do have some more slides right there, actually. It is kind of weird because uh, the water park is like spread out throughout and kind of mixed in with the dry park. So it is kind of a little odd placement wise, but it's really not that big of a deal at all. And like you can walk right under the slides as we are about to do. So we're going to start making our way back to the front of the park. This basically means like that we're going to go around to the final side of that lake. This right here is a kind of your classic frog hopper. And they do have a mini golf course actually, which you can see right there. I did not have time to do it, unfortunately, but it looks like decently well themed and they have kind of this cool theming out here. Now I'm not 100% positive if that is included when you buy your tickets or not, but it is here. So there you have your swing pendulum ride. You can ride those at lots of kind of like boardwalk parks, or I know you can find that at Hershey Park as the claw. And this is of course your carousel right here. So, moving ahead, this is Tornado. Again, you can find one of these at a place like Hershey Park, where it's called like the Howler. And it wouldn't be an amusement park without some Midway games, and here they all are. So step up, step up, win your prizes, such as a um, banana or a small dog. Another flat ride Beach Bend has is going to be Scrambler. And they have some mini swings. Kind of not full size, but they are swings. So we're back up towards the front. Again, here's those bathrooms I was talking about. To my knowledge, these are the only bathrooms in the park. And we're back at the front entrance. So hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. Again, make sure to stay tuned for more walkthroughs of other amusement parks across the country. And if you have any questions about Beach Bend, I'm happy to answer them in the comments section below. So make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later.